Hi guys, welcome to 3D Printed Angular. I'm Alex. In today's video, we are going to talk about this Lua Turner. Before we talk about this uh, Lua Turner, let's talk about this one. Uh, actually, this is the uh, Lua Turner I made uh, before that one. Well, at the beginning, I'm fine with this Lua Turner. But later, I made it sound larger or longer lure. Soon I realized larger and the longer lure doesn't fit into this uh, turner because the wrench inside the turner is fixed just this big so it it didn't fit a larger lure so I made a this turner so this turner you can uh, adjust the wrench inside the turner you can make it longer and uh, if you think this uh, range is not uh, longer enough you can make it even longer so let's get started how to make this turner so here's everything you need to make this uh, lure turner it's gonna be six pieces of uh, 3D printer parts. I already uploaded those uh, 3D models file to Thingiverse.com, so you can download them and uh, print them out, and follow the steps in the video to make this lure turner. You can find link in the description below where to download the 3D model file and the other materials you need to make this turner. This is a. Uh, slow rotating motor so it's about uh, three rounds per minute and uh, you also need a ball bearing and you need uh, some screws for uh, 20 millimeter long uh, M4 screws and the two 16 millimeter long screws and a uh, six nuts it's M4 size nuts. And then you also need a three 18 gauge wire. Uh, in this case, you don't want to use a very hard wire. You want to use some soft wire. This is, a, this is not a stainless steel wire. This is a normal uh, steel wire. So this wire is not that hard. It's a kind of soft. So the 3D printed parts are inner body. And uh, this knob is for the Hokai lock. And this one, this small knob is a uh, insert to the uh, ball bearing. You may find a little bit difficulty to insert this uh, knob to the ball bearing. You can either use sandpaper or knife trained this this part. A little bit to fire uh, to sand it a little bit or use a knife to cut a little bit to train it a little bit in order to uh, insert into this uh, uh, ball bearing you also need a, a drill actually I'm not gonna show in this video because I already did everything before the length of the turner that really depends what the size of your lure gonna be if your lure gonna be this big, so you can make your turner this long. If you if you have an even bigger or longer lure, you can make uh, the wrench even larger. I mean even longer. So if you want uh, your turner gonna be this long, so you can drive. Uh, you can use drill drive holes here. And I put a screw, screw to secure like this, so you have a very long uh, turner. You also need to drill two holes on the wall of the turner to attach this uh, motor on. So you can just put uh, this uh, motor on 
into the right position. Then uh, use a marker to mark the hole here. Mark here and mark here. Then use drill to drill it. Uh, uh, to drill it. Make two holes. Then attach the motor by using this uh, 16 millimeter long uh, M4 screw. And attach those uh, by using two small piece of uh, these two. I don't know how to say that connector or bridge piece or whatever. Now this piece is attached to here. Now you can use a wire to go through the, to go through the holes and just bend it, lock it in the position. And that, and this wire, you have to bend the tip a little bit, make a little hook, and then insert this ball bearing to the hole here. And uh, insert this uh, wire into the center of the ball bearing and uh, the knob. When you have to use this one, when you have to use this uh, turner, you just uh, put your hook eye into the gap of this knob, then use a small wire to insert into the this hole to secure it. to secure the lure and uh, the other side and the pull And then pull this wire out and the tight and the bend. So your lure is locked inside the turner. And then now you just plug in the power cord, then turn it on and gonna start to rotate. And uh, there is a issue with this uh, turner because. Uh, the vibration from the motor somehow it causes a little bit noise. So to solve this problem, you can use this double side tape. Uh, and I use this. This is a cable tie. 
I use this uh, to tie cable, but because this is soft, so I can cut it. Then attach here. Now, now your turner will not make that huge noise to bother you. If your lure is small or your Hawkeye is not uh, on the side of your lure, you can remove this part. Just uh, use a uh, wire insert here and attach your lure here. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe for my future content. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.